Hi Crafty Cuties! Today we are going to make some DIY embellishments and we are going to recreate a collection that I am super excited about. I actually ordered this collection but we are going to recreate this pink paisley take me away and we are starting out by recreating some wood veneers that are kind of color dipped. Now I am going to kind of alter this and just use what I have. So I have pulled out my punches because instead of just using wood veneers, I am going to make some super thick, almost chipboard-like pieces. So I have my papers and I also grabbed some die cuts that I already had. Some are wood veneers, but they're just blank. And I have all of my punches plus some embossing powders and embossing ink. So I am just starting by punching out several shapes and I'm going to glue a ton of layers together so that it's super thick. So use what you have. If you already have some plain wood veneers or die cuts, you can use those or you can just use your punches. And you can see here it's super thick. So once it dries, it is seriously just like a chipboard piece. I'm just taking my embossing ink and I am just going to get half of the shape covered and then I'll go ahead and sprinkle my embossing powder just like I would if I were stamping. So I have a bunch of different colored um, embossing powders that I will be using. Now some other ideas that you could use if you don't have ink and embossing powders. You could use glue with some glitter. You could use some gel markers if you wanted or some paint markers. There are a ton of different ways that you could go about this. You could even use acrylic paint and just cover up half of your shape. So here I'm just showing you that if you have glitter, you can use that. So I am just going to repeat this for all of the shapes that I have. This was super fun and I really like the way that the punches turned out. But I also really liked kind of spicing up the wood veneers and die cuts that I already had because you could take this and use whatever colors you need for a layout or whatever project you're working on and kind of coordinate that color to that project. At first I was just going to go ahead and stick to the colors that were in the collection, like the pastel colors, but I had this gold embossing powder and I'm so glad that I ended up using it because I loved the way that those ones look. Now we are going to recreate the suede bows that are in this collection. This is so simple and this is a fun way to just kind of get some embellishments ready. I'm going to show you how I tie a bow. So I have a ribbon that's about 15 inches long and I'm going to drape it over my two fingers, my pointer finger and then my middle finger. And you are going to wrap the back one around and over your thumb. You can see what I'm doing here, but I'll just try to explain it through that little hole or that little triangle area. And this is the key. You want to go you're going to go around and then you're going to go through the little hole that we create, which you'll see here in a moment. And you're going to basically tie a little knot. This is going to be the middle of our bow. You might need to practice this a couple times or replay it, but once you get it down, it is really simple. And then from there you can slide this off your fingers and you will have your cute little bow. And then you can kind of mess around with it until you get it just how you want it. This was super fun to go through all of my ribbon trim and just make some little bows. And I like the idea of having them on hand so that when you're doing a scrapbook layout or project, they will just be ready for you to add on to your project. And I do think that the suede bows that come in the pink paisley collection are super cute, but I feel like this is one that you can easily recreate on your own. Now we are going to make some embellished paper clips and who doesn't love some cute paper clips? We all do. And I love the ones that come in the collection. They also have some really cute buttons in this collection. So I decided to kind of take both of those ideas and turn it into one. So I went through my collection of embellishments and found a bunch of buttons and little flares that I thought would be cute to put on some paper clips. 
Now this one's super simple. All you need to do is use some hot glue or E6000 and glue them to your clip and you are good to go. The stickers in this collection are so cute. Now I wanted to try and recreate just a couple of them. They turned out kind of silly, but it was fun. So I thought I would still share this with you because it's really not too hard to try and recreate something um, by just looking at it and putting your own spin to it. So I am going to try and color one of the flowers. I really like the style of it. And yeah, you can just kind of see what I'm doing if you want to give this a try. And you can just look up online the stickers and, you know, just try to color which ones you like. I think this would be really fun to do with watercolors as well. I had such a fun time trying to recreate the embellishments that came in this collection, but I am still really, really excited to get mine in the mail. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if there are any other collections that you would like me to recreate. And remember, this is key. We are not trying to copy. We are just trying to use some inspiration from a collection that's super cute and just try to make our own. Uh, there are a few collections out there right now that I would love to do. And honestly, I'll probably get to filming really soon, but yeah, let me know which collections you guys would like to see. If there are any specific parts of collections or whatnot, let me know. I almost forgot to mention that I did actually turn mine into stickers as well. So I'm just using some watercolor paper and then I cut them out individually. And I just used my sticker maker to turn them into stickers. And if you don't have a sticker maker, you could easily color yours on some label or sticker paper or if you're using something like watercolors that's probably not going to work best on sticker paper you can draw them out on regular paper and then you can glue that to sticker paper i don't know i think that would work so i will talk to you in the next video i love you guys please let me know which collections you want to see i would love to hear i will talk to you later bye